Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or on the internet. In the last episode of Know Your Personality segment, we began speaking about the spiritual journey of Enneagram Type 5, Observer Investigator, by analyzing how Type 5, compulsion to know more and avoidance of emptiness impact Type 5 Enneagramic self. In this episode, we will elaborate on how type 5 avoidance and compulsion affect a type 5 person's relationship with others. Firstly, as a type 5 person, your compulsion to know more and your avoidance of emptiness create in you a craving to fill your inner emptiness with knowledge. This craving to fill your inner emptiness with knowledge might have developed from your childhood experiences of loneliness and abandonment, particularly in relation to significant people in your life as a child. As a result, you probably felt different from other members of your family and even may have had lingering doubts about you being real offspring of your parents. For reasons you did not fully understand as a child, you have learned early in life to cope with your lonely feelings by withdrawing into your own world which was filled with information you have perceived and stored. You have learned to use every opportunity to go apart from others to think and work things out for yourself. You withdrew in order to know and this knowledge fills your feeling of emptiness and gives you a sense of fulfillment. Besides, you do not want to appear foolish before others. Since it takes a lot of reflection and thinking to arrive at wisdom, you are always preparing yourself so that what you eventually express, which you rarely do, will be well thought out and true. Thus, for you, life has come to consist more in reflection and understanding rather than involvement and interaction with others. With this attitude and approach to life, you would shut a lot of people out of your life, causing a great deal of damage in building genuine relationships. Secondly, as a type 5 person, your compulsion to know more and avoidance of emptiness make you grow up as a person who is more reserved, non-committed and seemingly lost in your own inner thought world. You often have a poor sense of the present which can cause you to forget names and even fail to recognize persons with whom you have been recently. In social gatherings, you are uncomfortable making a small talk and you feel bored. To escape boredom and to dodge facing large group of unfamiliar people, often you tend to leave the situations without saying why or even saying goodbye. For you, time is precious and if something is not beneficial to you, you see no reason to continue waste your time with it. Thus, your characteristic tendency to withdraw from others in order to be alone with your thoughts can often make you feel that you are outside of what is going on. You want to belong and be part of social life with others, but at the same time, you are not ready to sacrifice your desire for aloofness and privacy. You tend to be hedgy and avoid commitments to others because commitments often entail giving up your precious time to be in your thought world. You believe that you have to be a loner and spend time with yourself in order not to feel drained and feel empty. 
For this reason, you rarely seek others' help and look for others to stand by you in your time of need. You characteristically think about your problem and work out things for yourself. And if needed, you would communicate your conclusions and solutions to the problem to the concerned people. Since you believe that only in this manner life can be kept in proper perspective, you fail to reach out to others in a personal way, thereby ignore genuine relationship with others. Thirdly, as a type 5 person, your compulsion to know more and your avoidance of emptiness make you more rational and analytical and prefer objectivity to subjectivity. Hence, your focus in working out any problem is having hard and concrete data or facts. You believe emotions have little to do with the data and facts. You perceive reality according to what is factually significant rather than according to what is emotionally felt. And to have accurate knowledge about a given situation, what really matters is what is factually significant as emotions can take one away from truth. Though you may have deep feelings, you think that what you feel about something is not as important as what you know about something. Thus, you compartmentalize your life as the fact aspect and the emotional aspect and see them as two parts of life that are completely opposed to and incompatible with each other. As a result, you push emotions out of equation when analyzing a question in order to be impartial and objective. Your constant demand for objectivity makes you a person of high intelligence, but you do not develop sufficient emotional intelligence without which you cannot successfully and effectively interact with others, particularly in the personal or emotional level. You are pushing away of subjectivity and emotional dimension for the sake of being objective, fact-faced and data-based in your knowledge can over time create significant difficulties in building up genuine personal level relationships with others. Fourthly, as a type 5 person, your compulsion of knowing more and avoidance of emptiness make it difficult for you to be in touch with your feelings and express them appropriately. This is because you do not ordinarily live on the emotional level. Instead, you normally get caught up in your intellectual level. Hence, even when you speak, people can notice that your voice has little or no variation of feelings, as your focus is rational and intellectual presentation of facts. As you are neither in touch with your feelings nor express them appropriately, you have difficulties relating to and understanding emotions of others. This in turn makes you to distance and isolate yourself from others. Therefore, you can purposefully reject relationships and evade opportunities for involving with others emotionally. For you are sufficiently satisfied engaging with your own thoughts in the privacy of your thought world. If this mindset rules your life, though you may have deep feelings within you, and may desire relationships, you may not have the social skills to begin, build up, maintain and sustain deep and long-term personal relationships with others. If you as a type 5 person are unhealthy and imbalanced, this mindset can make you completely isolate yourself from others emotionally because of your fear of the outside world and your belief that you can only be safe in the security of your own mind. Similarly, if you think that you are superior to others, you will isolate yourself from others by adopting an attitude of intellectual arrogance and judging people based on your intellectual status. In the process, totally neglect your emotional or heart dimension. Thus, as an unhealthy type 5 person, 
you can be contentious, withdrawn and negative and fail to build up a healthy emotional life, thereby causing a great deal of problem for yourself and others in the area of relationship. All the above mentioned situations clearly point out that your compulsion to know more and obsessive avoidance of emptiness can create significant issues for you both in the spheres of your personal and professional relationships. In the next episode, besides considering how your avoidance and compulsion prevent you from living out your positive traits, we will also give a short self-examination exercise which you can use to understand your type 5 personality better particularly to have a clear understanding of your avoidance, compulsion and their impact on yourself and on your relationship with others. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.